Hey guys, so today I have another tag for you. It is the childhood tag, which was created by Claudia over at Cloud9XXXX, and she also tagged me, so thank you, Claudia. There's only three questions, so this shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> the first one is, what were your favorite childhood books? So the ones that I liked having read to me were The Crippled Lamb by Max Lucado, Three books by John Trent, I Choose You, There's a Duck in My Closet, and funny story, I never really had a fear of monsters in my closet or under my bed. I just kind of wished I had a duck living in there because of this story. And the other one was Spider Sisters. This is the epitome of my sister and I, and we have a lot of inside jokes because of this story. And this was bought when she and I were quite young, and we still enjoy it now, and as I said, a lot of inside jokes. The ones that I would have my papa read when I would go over to his house were these huge, very heavy books. The first one is Little Pictures of Japan, which is one that I probably would read the most with him, or have him read it to me, because they were little poems, and the illustrations were just very eye appealing. Then there was Nursery Friends from France and Tales Told in Holland. Now the ones that I would want my parents to read to me but I also liked reading or by myself or with them. We had this one that I would read through with my dad which was the Children's Illustrated Bible and we were so close to the end. We almost made it but you can tell this one has been very well, well read because it's probably the oldest book I own. The next one were ones that I loved having my mom read or reading myself and they were the Thornton W. Burgess books and these are only a small selection of the countless number that he's written. He was referred to as the gentle teacher because he taught really good lessons but he taught them in a way that children would understand them. And he also taught them using animals. And each animal had a specific characteristic that you would learn something from. Now the ones that I enjoyed reading personally by myself as a child. First off, we have Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. I remember every single time I went to the library, I would borrow this. And the reason why is because I never actually finished it till a couple of years ago. I know, <laughs> I would always go and I'd get to the halfway point and then I'd have to take the book back because I'd just run out of time. But I got to the point I knew which aisle, row, shelf, and where on that shelf the book was located and I'd borrow it the next time I went. The next series is the Babysitter's Club series by Anna Martin. I can't tell you the amount of times I read or reread different ones in this series and I think that it was a really enjoyable series. I went through these really fast. I read at least one a day. And the last one is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. Yet another book that my wonderful older sister introduced to me. And I really enjoyed reading it. And I've read this one numerous times, as with all of these. But I think this would be my first fairy tale retelling, as well as my favorite. The second question is, what genre were you most interested in as a child? And the idea of genres just kind of confused me as a child, but I know that there were three main things that I liked. First off, fiction. Second, the cover appeal. And third, a happy ending. As a child, I just was very traumatized when I got to an unhappy ending or a sad ending. It just it just traumatized me. That's just how I was as a child. Even now, I lean more towards the happy ending than the sad, but still, I handle sad endings in my own way, just like I did as a child. And the third question, do you slash will you reread your favorite childhood books? And the answer is most definitely. I don't care how old I am. I don't care what age they're for. I still really enjoy reading, and it doesn't matter what the age is. So I'm going to tag two people. The first one that I'm going to tag is Maud over at Reading Miss Froggy, 
And the second person I am going to tag is Trey Wright. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my childhood books. Until next time, go and pick up a random book and read. Bye, guys.